welcome to the channel. Today is the second day of our return, leaving the flaming gorge in northern Utah, heading down towards Butte, uh, but it's a different route, uh, so we took a big loop, and that's the goal for today, 853 kilometers. That's what we, it's in front of us. We will try to make it, if it's possible. And then uh, tomorrow we will try to make it home. So we started at uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, so that's a quite early start. We are already on the road. Uh, once we get down to Manila, that's the little town uh, just down the hill here. Uh, we will stop for a quick coffee because I had a breakfast but no coffee and everybody wants some coffee in the morning. We didn't feel like make one today. It might be a cooler ride as uh, up north in Calgary. For example, it was snowing uh, yesterday. Uh, so the weather is uh, not on our side on the return trip here. We gotta deal with it. That's the beauty of adventure riding. And as you see in front of me, on those mountains, there's snow. So we have to cross over those mountains and get into the valley between the mountains to I-15 in Butte. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to stay informed on the content. If you like the video that you're watching, smash that like button, comment down below, and let's enjoy the ride today. So yeah, it's still snow on the mountains on my left side. Something is burning, the forest is burning somewhere. Uh, there was just a sign, heavy smoke in the area. Uh, I have a feeling it's all arson. That's not natural smoke or natural fire. It's uh, how the forest can be on fire if it's uh, still all the water. As you see here, water is still staying on the ground after all the snow melted. But you can smell it actually. It's a big campfire somewhere. It is a little bit chilly morning. It's uh, only 13 degrees right now. There's still leftovers of the redstone. That is Utah State Highway 44 North that we're heading on. And next we're gonna go west on uh, 43. There's plenty of campgrounds along the way here. Lots of choices. But it might be better to take that route when it's a slightly warmer later in the season than now. <laughs> now stay south, as, uh, southwest as much as possible. Look at that up front. There's a lake, holy lakes all around there. That is 
just spectacular. But that's not the other side of a loop. Oh, finally some water actually in Utah. We never seen water in Utah. Yeah. They're dragging all those boats. Cowboys land and Wranglers.
we left US 412 and we're going on Wyoming 189, heading north, closer to Canada. Let's hope that wind is gonna change. Yeah, and then 12 miles from now, we're heading on to US 30 East. That's supposed to be some scenic route, apparently. stop for fuel we had a bite to eat and a coffee and keep rolling again last bits of Wyoming uh, probably we have another one more mountain pass to cross over just in front of us the wheel on the KTM is still holding great that's good choose a state. <laughs> Where are you going to have a leak? In Idaho or Wyoming? <laughs> yeah, we're riding exactly on the border. Bye bye Wyoming. Hello Idaho. State line. So 89 north. End of 61. I fulfill your dreams. <laughs> oh, they have a late spring here too. Look at the leaves are just just uh, budding. Yeah, like Calgary. Further south, everything was already fully developed. touristy town since it's decorated this way in the middle of nowhere of course yeah
we go. Accidentally, we bumped in near Idaho Falls into a climb, either a store or distribution, or maybe even a manufacturer. We have to check it out online. So it's a highlight of the day. <laughs> That's the main distributor. There we go. It's checked online. Fact checking. So don't correct me on YouTube then. <laughs> so we just made it after two days to I-15 just outside of north of Idaho Falls. We have over 400 kilometers behind us. A little bit of a tail side tailwind. We'll go for another couple hours and start looking for a place to stay overnight. There's some closures apparently on this road. But I think we should be okay because uh, people are coming through. Montana, last state. As always, on the return trip, shit hits the fun and the weather is not on our side. We're supposed to end the day today in Butte. Unfortunately, the snow is on the way. And it's supposed to snow for quite some time until uh, tomorrow. So the plan for today is uh, to head on to Helena. And uh, we will stop over at, uh, at the motel instead of the campground. Uh, maybe we'll beat the snow and tomorrow is going to be a better day. It still might be raining a little bit. But at least we get through the, bit, uh, through the worst of it uh, today. So yeah, we got another uh, 148 miles to go. And uh, at least we'll have a good night of sleep, a shower, and a bite to eat. It's windy all day for most part of the day. There was a couple sections that were pretty acceptable. But now, yesterday we looked for the forecast. It's supposed to look decent here today. Unfortunately, the weather changed around very quickly. But that's okay. Iron butt it is. It's gonna be close to like maybe 800 kilometers that we did today then after we finish everything. here 7.25 we're entering Butte and we have another hour and a bit to go to Helena so far so good there was raining on somewhere on the road but not when we were riding we have here 67 miles left And uh, not to mention just the rain and snow on top of it, forecasted for later on. And we need a shower. 
so this, since we left the campsite this morning we already did 838 kilometers and by the time we get to Helena it's gonna be over 900 kilometers or maybe close to a thousand that's a definitely an iron butt said just a second ago today we had every possible wind direction <laughs> headwind side wind left side right side back wind and it doesn't stop <laughs> let's just hope that the snow is gonna go away by tomorrow because that would be yeah it, it is freaking chilly it's uh, yeah shrinkage factor When you go through the whole thing, this is the nicest part. That's nicer even than Coquihalla Highway. There's the KTM with a messed up rim. <laughs> you can't put that on, but censorship. <laughs> Wow, it is chilly. It's like 11 degrees or something like that. a few more twisties to top up Just zooming right through recommended yeah recommended speed 50 miles per hour actual speed 82 <laughs> yeah recommended it's recommended it's not uh, the speed limit but it's recommended doesn't matter those rims are different rims one mistake So guys, that's the end of Twisties and we're getting close to the end of the day. Super long day. We got another 30 miles to get to the hotel. Today is a bit different, more luxury. And if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Comment down below, subscribe 
and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.